In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the Jaclyn Hill palette. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. If this is your first time seeing me and you like beauty videos, go ahead and subscribe because I do upload three times a week. Now, today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Jaclyn Hill palette. I know a lot of you guys that already watched my video really wanted me to talk about this. I did order uh, this palette from Morphe on the day that it launched. Now, first off, if you guys don't know Jaclyn Hill, she is a very famous, well-known beauty guru, and she collaborated with the brand Morphe, which is known for affordable brushes, affordable makeup, all that jazz. Now, um, let's just talk about the packaging. Uh, I will say this is very like Jaclyn Hill, the white with the silver, and it is beautiful. Now, I will say this is made out of some type of cardboard material, and mine has already gotten dirty, and it is not easy to clean off. I've tried cleaning it with a makeup wipe, but it doesn't even help. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go through the palette, show you guys some of the colors, show you guys some swatches, and then I'm also going to show you a, like, live application of some of these colors and how they perform on someone of my skin tone. Now, just a little side note, you guys, um, back to the packaging. <laughs> it does come in this cute little white box, like I said, very Jaclyn Hill, if you like if you're somebody that really likes to collect packaging, then that's cool to hang on to. And on the back is a very personalized for photo um, little spiel about her and how she created this palette. Really cool if you're into Jaclyn Hill. Now, I wanna show you guys these colors, so I'm going to lower some of my camera settings so that you guys can see this as true to color as possible. Now, of course, I might seem obviously a little bit darker than I normally am just due to my camera settings, but I just wanna let you guys know so that you know what's going on, you know what I mean? <laughs> So this is the palette, as true to color as it does look. You've got some bright row of colors, you've got some you know, caramel slash warm toned transition colors, then you've got some nice shimmers, more transition colors that are deeper in shade, um, and you know, other mattes. And then you've got mostly a row of shimmers here, as well as some deeper brown shades, and then you've got some blacker, dark brown shade, and then you've got some nice bright colors that Jaclyn added in. So, this palette is really interesting to me. I mean, I'm definitely more into like warmer toned colors, so I'm feeling this whole thing. And then of course, if you want to get a little bit adventurous, you've got these bright colors, and then you can also smoke a lot of your looks out with some of these colors. Now, I will say that you know, because Jacqueline did talk about kind of the formulation and how she worked with Morphe to uh, enhance some of the color formulations, I will say straight off the bat, you can tell that the mattes perform a lot better. They blend really nicely. They are a little bit more pigmented with the skin. Um, now, of course, because of like, if you look at some of these colors right here, you know, on someone of my complexion, you will have to build them up or, you know, just don't use them really. I can't, I can only see myself really using this one. Um, I don't see myself using any of these, but here and on, like, I'm really digging. Now, I feel like, you know, from Jacqueline's video, she did say that she wanted this palette to work for everybody. All skin tones, she wanted you to be able to use it at home and on the runway, all that kind of stuff. Now she includes a lot of like brow bone highlights, a lot of transition colors, and then a lot of, you know, warm toned and a few colorful colors right here. Now I will say, you know, upon like receiving the palette initially, unfortunately, I didn't actually get the colors, the little like chart that shows you what all the shades are and the names. And after watching Jacqueline's video, I was really disappointed because I know she put in so much time into naming all the shadows. So uh, I was like, damn, like that really sucks. Um, 
but you know what the palette is really beautiful and uh, I will show you guys some swatches now I do want to say you want to make sure that you stay tuned for the rest of the video because I do have something that special that I want to share with you guys so I have swatched these colors right here on my arm and I'll zoom in for you guys so you guys can see now um, the two brow bone shade highlights are actually really beautiful I've used brush swatches so of course they're not as intense as the finger swatches that you guys have seen Jacqueline did state that for a lot of the shimmer shades you should use a wet brush or apply it with your fingers to get the maximum color payoff now the brow bone highlights look really beautiful I will say that all of these shades are very very buttery and then we've got three shimmers all three of which look absolutely gorgeous and I did have to go over these about three times with my brush but honestly if you use the wet brush or your fingers that shouldn't be any problem they are actually very very pigmented and they blend beautifully so for the second row of colors now most of these colors actually look really nice and we're getting into the more transition colors at least for my skin tone they are so buttery now when you first put them on they're really light as you can see the second third and fourth actually kind of blend into my skin tone a little bit um, the first one is very visible it's like a light caramel color and then the uh, red one is super pigmented I was actually very surprised because I know that a lot of red pigments it's hard to get them to be very pigmented but this one goes on super nice very blendable really easy to work with and the last two are a kind of red shimmery color and a gold shimmery color they look beautiful again they blend really nicely and what I loved about all of these shades is that they have minimal fallout so moving on to the third row you guys these colors are beautiful the first three are shimmer shades now they just complement my skin tone so beautifully I mean I can't tell you enough like how gorgeous I think they are and then we move on we've got three matte shades and what I love about these is that they actually blend nicely they're not patchy whatsoever and they actually show up on my skin tone which for me is really nice because when you get into the muted or brick red sometimes it's kind of hard especially for a more affordable brand to make those colors work for people of color in general so they look really nice like I said not patchy blend out very nicely uh, they would complement a beautiful beautiful matte look or work in the transition area amazingly now the last color is a shimmery pinkish red now my initial application with the brush it was a little bit harder to blend out compared to the other shimmery colors in the palette but you know what just take a little bit more time and work with it and it should be just fine so now the fourth row is actually really really beautiful as you guys can tell from these swatches I did find that the purple and the blue um, you know when they first went on initially they aren't as pigmented as something like a Juvia's Place palette but you do have to build them up if you don't want to build it up uh, what I would suggest is using a pencil as a base like a pencil liner or some kind of a cream product that is very close in color that way you would get the most pigmentation out of this um, or just use a really 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 good primer and pack that baby on now moving on we've got you know the three shimmery shades I really would have liked the brown shimmery shade to be more pigmented um, as you guys will see I, I incorporated it into this look that I did today which I'll show you guys in a moment um, but it's still beautiful I think you can use it to accentuate any kind of like sparkly look that you want to create um, so it, I mean it's gorgeous and then the last two are more like brownie you know matte colors they do blend beautifully no chalky blending um, that's consistent throughout the palette all of the shades are like blend like butter so the last row all of them 
super gorgeous. Now, I do notice that the actual teal, like bright greenish shade that they included definitely needs to be built up or you need to have a base because initially when it goes down, it's not that pigmented. The brown mattes are really, really lovely. Again, they do need to be built up just a little bit more, but they blend so lovely. Now, I wanna go ahead and show you guys this eye look that I created. So stay tuned and then afterwards, we will go ahead and talk about something really special. Okay, so I brought you guys in closer so you could really take a look at how these shadows perform. Going to add some primer onto my eyes so that these colors really, really pop. Now I'm gonna go in to this shade right here. I believe it's called Pukey. Like I said before, I didn't get the insert with the color so unfortunately I don't know what they're all called and this shade in particular is one of my favorite transitions because it is so buttery and on my skin tone it's just like barely there but enough to be the base of a nice transition so see how it's like almost there kind of not there it's exactly what I want so what I'm finding guys is that for a lot of these, um, so what I'm finding is that for a lot of these shades, they are better than the normal Morphe matte, but you still do need to build them up just a little bit. I'm finding that for a lot of these transition colors, they're in the red family. So if you don't like warm tones, this might not be your jam. Now I'm gonna go in with these two red shades, mix them together, and just kind of emphasize my crease a little bit. So now that we have that nice, like, reddish, warm tones transition, um, it's time for us to test out this black color. So when the black color first goes down, it's not as opaque as I would like it to be, but I did find that you are able to build it up to what, you know, my other eye looks like. You just have to be sure to take your time and pat it along, not blend it. Now I'm going into this brown shimmery shade and I'm doing this because I want to create a nice layer of like shimmer under the black so it looks more like a black shimmery shade instead of a black matte. Ooh, and then with this little teal shade, I'm gonna hit up my inner corner. Okay, so the eye look is complete. Now I wanna talk about my overall thoughts about this baby. It's beautiful. I freaking love the palette. Um, I'm really impressed and I think that they are actually better than the normal Morphe shadows. I personally like to use uh, shimmery shades with a wet brush, so that's how I'm going to be applying those. Um, you know, I love it. My only thing that I have to say is I really don't like that the palette is cardboard and white because I know that mine is gonna get filthy and it's just not easy to clean. But if you guys are actually still here, you've made it to the end of the video, guess what? I have one palette that I'm gonna be giving away to you guys because I wanna reward those of you guys that actually watch my videos. And I know that I don't do a lot of giveaways all the time, but since I have an extra one, I wanna go ahead and give it out to somebody who really wants it and either didn't have time the first launch to get it or doesn't have the cash to get it. So I have a link down in the description box and you guys can go ahead and enter that way. It's going to be titled Secret Link. So look for it in the description box and please go ahead and just enter once. Now I won't be announcing the giveaway winner on my social media. Of course there'll be a deadline when you go ahead and click through to the link but I don't want this to be like I know people kind of get crazy with giveaways and please don't be sad if you don't win um, but I will let the actual giveaway winner know uh, via email that they've won and um, yeah so <laughs> with that being said uh, good luck to all of you guys I love you guys and I will see you in the next video bye